Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1770, Captain James Cook sights the eastern coast of what is now Australia. Also in 1770, Marie Antoinette marries Louis XVI. In 1775, the American Revolution begins today with the battles of Lexington and Concord, also known as the shot heard around the world. Also in 1775, Paul Revere, William Dawes, and Samuel Prescott are captured by British troops on their historic ride from Lexington to Concord. No, it wasn't just Paul Revere. In 1782, the Dutch Republic recognizes the United States as an independent government. John Adams' home in The Hague, Netherlands, becomes the first American embassy. In 1824, English poet Lord Byron passes away today. In 1852, the California Historical Society is formed. In 1874, the army barracks on Alcatraz Island are destroyed in a fire. In 1882, Charles Darwin passes away today. In 1892, Charles Duria takes his first American-made automobile for a test drive. In 1904, much of Toronto in Canada is destroyed by fire. In 1910, today is the first time Halley's Comet can be seen by the naked eye. In 1927, May West was sentenced to 10 days in jail today after being convicted of obscenity and corrupting the morals of youth with her portrayal of a prostitute in her Broadway play called Sex. In 1928, the 125th and final fascicle of the Oxford English Dictionary is published. In 1932, President Herbert Hoover suggests a five-day work week. Also in 1932, Bonnie Parker of Bonnie and Clyde is captured in a failed hardware store burglary. A grand jury does not indict her and she is released a few months later. In 1933, the beautiful Jane Mansfield is born today. In 1934, Shirley Temple appears in her first feature-length film called Stand Up and Cheer. In 1936, today was the first day of the Great Uprising in Palestine with anti-Jewish riots breaking out. In 1939, they are 148 years late, but Connecticut finally approves the Bill of Rights. In 1943, the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising by Polish Jews under Nazi occupation began today and lasted for four weeks. In 1945, Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical Carousel opens at the Majestic Theater in New York City and runs for 890 performances. In 1948, the American Broadcasting Company, or ABC, TV network debuts. Also in 1948, Chiang Kai-shek is elected president of nationalist China. In 1951, General Douglas MacArthur retires from the military. Also in 1951, a tree grows in Brooklyn opens at the Alvin Theater in New York City for 267 performances. In 1954, 65-year-old Clarence DeMar a seven-time winner of the Boston Marathon, runs his last race in Boston, finishing 78th. Was a heck of a run, though. No pun intended. In 1956, at the first Major League Baseball game in New Jersey, the Dodgers beat Philadelphia in Roosevelt Stadium. In 1960, baseball uniforms begin displaying players' names on their backs. In 1961, the Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba ends in success for Cuba. In 1963, Johnny Cash releases his single Ring of Fire, which was written by his future wife June Carter and Merle Kilgore. In 1965, the outer ceiling of the Astrodome is painted because of the sun's glare, which causes the grass inside to die. Also in 1965, Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass release their fourth album, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. In 1966, in the first regular season game at Anaheim Stadium, the Angels lose 3-1 to Chicago. In 1967, Casino Royale, the James Bond comedy film starring David Niven and Peter Sellers premieres. Yes, it is a James Bond comedy. Also in 1967, the Beatles sign a contract to stay together for 10 more years. Quick math tells us that this did not happen. In 1970, at the 24th Tony Awards, Borstal Boy and Applause win. In 1971, 
the Soviet Union launches the first manned space station and call it Salyut 1. Also in 1971, Charles Manson is sentenced for conspiracy to commit the Tate LaBianca murders. In 1971 as well, Vietnam veterans against the war begin a five-day demonstration in Washington, D.C. I think Forrest Gump spoke at that one. In 1972, Don't Call Me, I Can't Cope opens at the Playhouse in New York City for 1,065 performances. In 1978, actor James Franco was born. In 1982, Gwynon Bluford becomes the first African-American NASA astronaut. And in the same year, 1982, Sally Ride is named the first American woman astronaut. In 1985, FBI agents surround the compound of the Covenant, the Sword, and the Arm of the Lord in Arkansas. In 1986, Michael Spinks beats Larry Holmes in 15 rounds for the heavyweight boxing title. In 1987, The Simpsons begins airing as a short cartoon on The Tracy Ullman Show. Also in 1987, tennis great Maria Sharapova is born. In 1987 as well, the last wild condor is captured on a California wildlife reserve. In 1989, a gun turret explodes on the USS Iowa, killing 47 sailors. Also in 1989, tonight is the violent rape of jogger Trisha Maley in New York City's Central Park. Five men, who become known as the Central Park Five, are wrongfully convicted and spend between six to 13 years in prison. In 1990, Marla Maples appears on ABC's Primetime, airing dirty laundry about her former husband, Donald Trump. In 1991, the Greyhound Bus Company posts a $195 million loss for 1990. The days of bus travel just aren't what they used to be. In 1992, Balky and Marianne wed on Perfect Strangers. Remember that show? In 1993, after a 51-day standoff with U.S. federal agents, 80 members of the Branch Davidian cult die in a fire at their compound near Waco, Texas. I actually know one of the ATF agents who was there that day. Also in 1993, South Dakota Governor George Mickelson and seven others are killed when their state-owned aircraft crashes in Iowa. In 1994, Rodney King is awarded $3,800,000 in compensation by Los Angeles County for his police beating. In 1995, Timothy McVeigh kills 168 people, including 19 babies and children, in the Oklahoma City bombing. In 1997, the Red River floods the city of Grand Forks, North Dakota. High water levels hamper efforts to reach a fire that broke out in the downtown area leading to the destruction of 11 buildings. Also in 1997, Renee Slaughter is crowned the 14th Miss Hawaiian Tropic International. In 1999, the German Bundestag is formed in Berlin, becoming the first parliament in Germany since the Reichstag was dissolved in 1945. In 2003, Nina Simone is awarded an honorary degree by the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. In 2005, Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger is elected to succeed Pope John Paul II. He took the name Benedict XVI. In 2011, Fidel Castro resigns from the Communist Party of Cuba's Central Committee after 45 years. In 2015, a boat carrying 850 migrants is shipwrecked in the Mediterranean between Italy and Libya. Only 27 people are rescued. Also in 2015, at the 50th Academy of Country Music Awards, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, and Miranda Lambert win. In 2017, Fox News confirms they will be firing Bill O'Reilly after allegations of sexual harassment. In 2018, a day after the vote to allow babies on the chamber's floor, U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois is the first parent to bring a baby into the Senate chambers. In 2020, the Together at Home concert for COVID-19 aid airs today and is streamed worldwide. Also in 2020, the U.S. COVID-19 death toll passes 40,000 people. And lastly, in 2021, NASA successfully flies its drone helicopter Ingenuity on Mars, making it the first powered aircraft 
to fly on another world. Pretty cool. So thanks for watching today's episode. I really appreciate it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Do one of those things. I would appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.